Hey everyone, welcome back to the ultimate hunter's guide for Dark Souls Remastered. It's been a while since I've played this game, which I feel like is something I say on every episode, but it's just whatever at this point, we're just used to it. Anyways, um, in the last episode I wanted to go to New Londo, but got distracted by a bunch of shit. This time we're actually gonna go to New Londo proper this time, and probably finish the area um, but definitely get to at least the compound bow because the compound bow is here and let me tell you compound bow is pretty goddamn useful yeah the reason you know I'm gonna be honest with you I haven't played uh, too many games for the channel this week. Uh, except for the new Dark Souls 2 mod playthrough. I have a couple of episodes recorded of that. I just didn't have time to edit them yet and upload them because it's been kind of a busy week. It was my last week at my current workplace. Starting at the new one on Monday. So I was just like pretty busy. Plus my car decided to crap out on me. Uh, it was in the shop for like almost a week which was annoying so that's what bruh fucking kidding me seriously replay that death I wanna see that in slow motion that's what editing Mr. Sketchhead don't forget to have a look at that because that was a little, little bit suspicious so that has to go down as one of the most ridiculous deaths I have had so far. During this playthrough, definitely. Oh, don't even get close to that shit. At this point, I'm like, avoid that edge like the plague and I still go near it. <sighs> so anyways, aside from like the personal stuff, the other thing that's been keeping me busy is uh, I bought a bunch of games during the Black Friday sale on PSN. And the main one I got was Just Cause 3, which is, you know, like, it's Just Cause, you guys know what Just Cause is, but I really like 2, uh, and that's one of my kind of personal favorites, Just Cause 2, and I just kind of felt like might as well get 3, and 3 is really good too. I think 4 is the one that's like a little bit shitty, which is a shame, god I hate this place. Yeah, like, ghost enemies that pass through everything, I feel like is not something from software equipped to sort of... What the fuck is... What the hell was... What the hell is going on? I've, like, never seen any of this shit. There's like 50 of them there. <sighs> New Londo Ruins. Truly one of the greatest areas in Souls history. All four of these areas uh, are just truly spectacular. I'm gonna finish my point even during the run back because I'm gonna forget. So yeah, I bought Just Cause 3. I bought SnowRunner, which is also really good. That's like that snow truck simulation game. Really fun. And of course I'm still playing Rift Apart. Oh yeah, and Assassin's Creed Unity, which is one of those games that started out shitty and then ended up like being probably the most retroactively loved Assassin's Creed. Some of the new ones are good too, but Unity is like, especially the parkour is really good in it. Although that's the one I've put the least amount of time into because, you know, I tend to try to focus on finishing one game at a time and right now Rift of Art is the one that's getting all the attention and that's a really really good game I gotta say you know as someone who's a Ratchet and Clank fan I feel like this one hits the spot okay so how do we do this less dumb than how we did it previously because I feel like you kinda have to come oh 
Why don't I just snipe? Doesn't work. I was like, why don't I snipe the... What the shit? Okay, I did the thing. So, I, I was like, why don't I swipe, snipe? I can't even talk at this point. The one that screams and attracts all of them to you. But she already... I mean, that already basically happened without her doing the stupid scream attack. I'm really hoping this is all of them, because how this place usually goes is... I'm like, okay, I think I have all of them. And then like three more show up out of nowhere through the floor and everything. Yeah, again, I feel like from software not entirely prepared slash experienced enough to develop ghostly float through everything enemies because this is a little bit clunky but you know this is one of the areas they didn't have time for of course yeah yeah yeah, yeah. give me the key yeah, yeah 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 cool nice talking to you bro let's go back down and then really again from here on out, it's pretty simple. This is essentially the hardest part of this whole place. Once you drain the water, you have some... I'm so fucking... So what, what, what's going on with me today? Uh, this, is, this is going to be one of those episodes. You guys know. Like, if you've been watching the channel um, these past however long, however many years... You will know that sometimes, once in a blue moon, I will have basically a brain fart day where, like, everything seems normal, I'm not tired, I had a good night's rest, I'm not drunk, I'm not high, but I'm just unable to play this game and I keep dying at the stupidest points because of the stupidest reasons. I think today is going to be one of those days. Uh, because there is no reason I should forget that there is no, like, walkway there, and that's a death trap, and that you're supposed to go inside the building, but I still forgot, which means we are in for a treat today. Uh, I'm curious on how I will manage this, because I'm a little bit tired of fighting these ghosts. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you people. Just a tiny, tiny bit tired. But then again, that last one was entirely my fault. Okay, come on, Mark, just go through the house. Don't be stupid. Avoid the ghosts. You've made it. We made it. Fucking hell. That was a struggle and a half. I imagine these things kill me. There's like a pretty high, like a non-zero chance of that happening, I'd say. Fuck, why do you have so much range? Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna come in here and drain the water. Not that that does anything, but at least imaginarily. Is that even a word? It like takes us to the next stage where I feel like I'm making progress. Which has been a little bit lacking so far. God, that thing looks ridiculous. That's the always the problem with um, using boss weapons is that they look very, very anime, and most of the light armor doesn't look very anime in this game. So, like, I'm basically wearing normal ass medieval hunter's gear, and I have a giant fucking elaborate. I don't even know what hanging on my hips as my main weapon. Still, as I've said, I'm really enjoying the Fury Sword. And here it is, the composite bow. This thing is absolutely brilliant. Uh, so what the thing is with the composite bow is, is that it has CC scaling. So it's basically like a quality weapon. And the unique sort of feature of it is that it's pretty fast and it's very short range. 
What it essentially means is that by far out of all the bows in the game, this one is best equipped for like actual combat, you know. What I mean by that is like, you know, not sniping and being a pussy, but actually engaging your enemies. However, the issue is, not the issue, but the like situation is, if you're going for a bow build, for PvE essentially, you're going for the Black Bow Ferris, which essentially outclasses it in every imaginable way. However, if you want to be like a bow PvPer, which I don't know why you would want to do that in this game, where uh, that's not really a viable option, Composite Bow is your best bet. It's also the one, like, if I was doing a bow only challenge run, 100% we'd be going for the Composite, because Again, it's the most usable in an actual combat situation. Let's see. Okay, I was gonna say. Isn't there supposed to be another one? And he showed up. These guys are taking a lot of damage. I did not think that parry was gonna work. But, you know what? Dark Souls parry gods. You have my back. You think I'm gonna snipe this thing? Hell yeah, I'm gonna snipe. Oh wait, didn't I? Didn't I specifically? Hell yeah, I did. Now that's more like it. That's the type of damage we're looking for, like Dalmatians. I don't know what I'm doing, like, look at the damage I'm doing with, <coughs> look at the damage I'm doing with my weapon, but really the thing is, once we have the very large ember and I'll be able to upgrade the ferris bow fully, then we're gonna have comparative damage. And as I mentioned, the bows do work with scaling, so if I had this thing infused with fire or chaos or whatever, it would, you know, like, do more damage with fire arrows. It do be like that. I swear there's supposed to be a chunk here somewhere. Maybe I'm just wrong. But yeah, let's just go get the the very large ember, because that's going to be important. But again, at that point, I might as well just go for Ferris, Black Bow Ferris, as my main thing. Would be kind of pointless spending more resources on, uh, what you call it, the long bow or whatever. I know I'm using the short bow. I have six Estes. I think I'm gonna... Hmm. No, we're not gonna pop back just yet. We're gonna clear out this area right here. Quickly. Yeah, there's some, like, chonkos here and stuff like that. And then we'll warp back and we'll go through the shortcut. Where's the other one? Isn't there supposed to be one more of these guys here? I don't know. I swear it used to be. Maybe I'm just stoned. Oh no, because I usually go straight for the shortcut and there's one behind you, which I've already killed. That's the... That's the spiciness here. I was just about to... It's playing with that range and I fucked up. Why does it have to be so elaborate? If it didn't do the stupid little twirl there, 
it could have been well the reason i'm not mad about that is it's really easy to get back here fuck i'm dying a lot that's like i haven't died in like the last couple of episodes and now it's just a absolute disaster but this is why i'm not too worried about anything because this is truly one of the greatest shortcuts in the game just makes things so much so much easier no problemo at all no uh, okay no apparently there is always only one of these guys here so that was a horrible death horrible as in Nah, it was my fault. Just admit it. Don't try to DSP this shit. When I haven't watched anything, any updates on DSP in a long time. Wonder if the dude is still going. I assume he is. No reason why he wouldn't be. We might as well do this right now. Of course there's ghosts here. What up? What the hell is that? These guys are mad fast, too. That's the thing. We're gonna have to come back here anyways, because... First of all, I'm not really... About risking... 20,000 souls for... The four kings. Like, four kings... Listen, there's always a chance you're gonna end up dead, because... Four kings is a little bit jank, as you guys know. There should be one more. No? I guess not. I always think there's one more enemy. I don't know. That's like the second theme of today's episode. There's definitely one here though. Who we're gonna parry. You know, really one of you could have dropped a chunk. That would have been much appreciated. It don't matter. Let's just uh, homeward bone back, and I think I'm gonna use these. Yeah, I have chunks, but I have no large shards. So let's go up to Sense Fortress. I think that's the closest one, and pick up some large shards for what's his name? Not what? What's its name? Blackbow Ferris. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, no, I take that back. It's much easier going to An Orlando slash Chamber of the Princess because I think this guy sells what's it called for cheaper large shards for cheaper. Plus, you can upgrade your, sh your shit right here with him. We're gonna need. Okay, listen, it's up to plus five, so it's plus six, plus seven, plus eight, plus nine. That's gonna get us to plus nine, right? I always get. There isn't a single time where I'm not confused by this. Did I not? Ah, shit. I didn't um, inf not not infuse it, but level it up. That's you can only do that at specific blacksmiths or whatever. Yeah, anyways, I bought some more just to be on the safe side. And you know what? Why don't we buy a couple of moonlight arrows? Fucking hell, these things are expensive. Just to show them off a little bit. Uh, this is the strongest arrow type in the game. But it's also one that works the best with the... See? It works best with the Dark Moon Bow. And I think you are meant to have some faith, maybe. I think faith you can do some pretty hefty damage. Uh, but I just wanted to show that it's an arrow type. This is the ultimate guide. So you know, let's let's be thorough here. Thank fuck I rested here. I would have been very annoyed if I didn't. 
of course very large amber deposit that and we are going oh, shit menu management mr sketchhead what are you doing you're an idiot cool if i get this right like off the top of my head i'm going to be pretty impressed with myself okay i was off by one I am not too pissed about that. And we are going to get this thing. There it is. It's almost fully upgraded, right? Not almost. Actually fully upgraded. This thing is gonna do pretty hefty numbers now. And the thing that's really good about it is this the s scaling with strength it gets pretty up there i think the moonlight arrows deal low damage because they only do magic damage if i remember correctly which is their like disadvantage holy shit it's pretty good pretty good let's go back and four are we gonna four kings I don't even have any heavy armor, do I? I mean, I have Havel stuff, but I don't know, man. It would be smart to pick up the stone armor. But maybe. Oh, hey! Okay. <laughs> Talk about looking ridiculous. Okay, now that, that puts us over the edge to fat rolling. You can be real, like, a true fashionista when you're fighting the four kings. But then again, our other option is don't give a shit about the tanking and just dodge. Wolf ring would be nice. Yeah, I think that that's, that's going to be our tactic here. Yeah, wolf ring, abyss ring is the combo here. The wombo combo. Um... Honestly, both the Hawk Ring and the Leo Ring are not exactly useful for this fight. I mean, the Leo Ring, yes, obviously, if you're using a spear, but I'm not. And honestly, from what I've seen, it procs very, very infrequently with a bow. It's pretty hard to get counters. I've been trying to show it off, but just haven't been able to get like a good... Um, situation to get it to proc ain't the easiest cool let's just get this over with What is there even to say about this fight? Very easy. Uh, obviously, if you have the damage, which we definitely do, this gets pretty simple here. It's really if you... The thing that is kind of weird about this fight is it's one of the only fights really in the game where I would say you can't play it however you want. You know, this game is, like, very free. You can tackle anything how you want. Except for this one boss fight. The, here, you, you have to have high DPS, and that's it. Like, nothing else matters. That is why we're doing this thing on, like, um... Whatever. Uh, broken Knife only, or Broken Straight Sword run, or... There was that guy that was doing the... Kirk, Armor of Thorns only playthrough, and this is the only fight he couldn't beat. Uh, that's because this is the only fight in the game that doesn't give you the, the sort of creative freedom, you know. And it's a little bit weird like that because, again, it sort of goes against the rest of the game, which is all about, well, do whatever you want as long as you, you know, beat the boss. 
Which, I'm gonna say, uh, the reason this fight is probably like this is also because they were running out of time and probably ideas. Maybe not ideas, because FromSoft has ideas, but you know, this game's sort of second half is infamous for, you know, being not unfinished fully, but it's not something they didn't have time for. And I think... Ugh, fuck. <laughs> so annoying. Not that this guy doesn't... Or this boss cannot be annoying. Because he can be. The arena is partly to blame for that as well. Because... Judging distance here is like impossible. Still, you know... If you're playing the game normally... Uh, it's just... Getting this over with. How much does it give? 60k. It's a decent number. Uh, we can spend a couple of levels leveling up here. Mm, I really want to. We need to get to 25 strength for the golf great bow, which, you know, this is how we're gonna do it. So get up ahead of ourselves. We still have a long way to go until then. Yeah, that that was the four kings. What even is there to say about that fight? Hmm, what to tackle next? Uh, again, we have a lot of tasty areas to choose from. Screw it. Let's do. I don't know. What do you guys want to see? I feel like I might do Duke's Archives, get that over with, and then we'll see where we can go. Uh, but let me know which of these least favorite areas would you like to see first. Please don't say Lost Isolate. I'm not in the mood for Lost Isolate. I'm talking like I'm streaming, which I'm not. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping up this episode of the Ultimate Hunter Guide right here. I wanna thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, make sure to give the video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.